Hey guys, CDTV the G here, and the G of course stands for the Gooba reaction is gonna be at the end of this video because I haven't heard that song yet, so I thought I might as well just throw it in as a little extra in this video. You were probably thinking the runtime of this video was pretty long for a reaction to one 6 9 song, so yeah, it's because it's a reaction to two, and even now you're probably still thinking that's a pretty long runtime for a reaction to two 6 9 songs. But yeah, the first one I'm gonna be reacting to before I get into Gooba is Trolls, the newest song by 6 9 and Nicki Minaj. They've of course done Fifi and I believe it was Mama before. Yeah, they're both decently enjoyable songs, both pretty simple, but they're catchy in their simplicity. And I'm assuming that this song will probably be similar. I, I don't imagine 6 9 will have upgraded his writing technique while he was in prison. But yeah, I'm, I'm curious. And a bit scared to get into this one. This song has already went number one and then had the biggest fall in the Hot 100 charts in history. It fell down 33 spaces to number 34, so that's good to know. That means it's probably a track that people listen to once and then never again. But let's see, I have sort of enjoyed some of 6 ix music before. Like, I don't automatically hate on 6 ix music just because he's 6 9 Like, I'm still gonna give it a fair chance. And if I like it, I'm gonna say that I like it. You can even watch my reaction to his Dummy Boy album on this channel. And I did enjoy that for just being a simple, dumb album it was it was kind of entertaining so we'll see if this song is something similar is there really much more that needs to be said let's just let's just get into this song trolls by six nine and Nicki minaj let's go it's got a nice fast paced beat to it so it's got that going for it already i don't think that's six nine though that doesn't sound like six nine Would it be lazy of me to just put in a meme to summarize my reaction to that chorus rather than just, you know, verbalizing my own thoughts? I'm gonna do it anyway. That shit is a, a two-pack of ass! <laughs> How does the song already sound more lazily written than Fifi? A song where 6 9 said he recorded it in like 15 minutes and didn't even try. The auto-tune doesn't even- his voice doesn't even sound good on this one. It almost sounded like 6 9 was some like NAV style auto-tune on this chorus. It sounded so robotic and just strange. It wasn't even catchy. That's the chorus of a number one song. I know you don't like me. You wanna fight me. You don't want no problems at your party. Don't invite me. Always talking Where did shouting 6 9 come from? Oh. <laughs> okay, let's just talk about 6 ix part of that song before we listen to Nicki Minaj's part. Also, why is this song like three minutes long? A song like this has no business being like over two and a half minutes at a stretch. I think Autotune 6 9 is my sleep paralysis theme. The shouting part of his verse, even though it's, you know, absolutely nothing new from 6 9 was easily the best part of it. The Autotune at the start was just pure ass. Honestly, so far, I definitely liked Fifi more than this one because it was a lazy song, but it was at least somewhat catchy. Whereas this one, definitely the best thing going for it is the instrumental. Like, easily. I like that beat. Nice and fast paced. Got a nice little kind of melodic bell melody to it, which I like. You know, it's a, it's a pretty simple beat, but it's very catchy. It makes you want to like the song associated with the beat. But that's very hard when you have Autotune 6 9 over it. Overall, as a whole, this song is a... Uh... Is not great. <laughs> but let's see what Nicki Minaj does on here. Maybe she'll have a better verse. Uh, there's not a lot of competition, but maybe she will. Why the fuck did she just like disappear into the void there? Current reference. They keep hating, but still watching. That's true. 
You know, honestly, on that little outro bit there, Nicki Minaj's kind of harmonized vocals sounded way better than the actual chorus of this song. Why didn't 6 9 just get Nicki to do the chorus? It would have sounded better than this robotic, overly processed, just drone that he gave us on the hook. Nicki was uh, definitely better on this song than 6 9 Apart from her doing that thing where she drags out the end of her notes really long, it just felt like it completely interrupted the verse for no reason. But she definitely put more effort into her writing uh, than 6 9 which was the same for Fifi. It's the same for this song. At least she tried a little bit more. She had a point when they said they keep hating but still watching because 6 9 is obviously just one of the most uh, hated people on social media. I'm not gonna say that's unjustified, but that's what he thrives off of. Like, he thrives off of the concept of they keep hating, but still watching. But it was very standard stuff, exactly what you would expect from a Nicki Minaj feature. There's not a lot that I can see myself coming back to this song for. It doesn't really have the most redeeming qualities. The thing I did like the most about this was just the beat, but as for uh, the, the actual, you know, vocals on here, there's a lot to be desired. Let's just say that. Let's just say that. Bro, there was five writers for this. I mean, I guess the producer, the producers get a writer credit, but Trafe Drew wrote this as well as 6 9 Did 6 9 need some assistance with the lyrics or the melodies on this one? I don't see myself streaming that one much very often. It wasn't even that catchy, to be honest. That's pretty much my summary of Trolls. There's, it's not a song where you can say much about it, to be honest. So yeah. That was my thoughts on Trolls, but the video doesn't end here because, of course, like I said, I'm gonna be reacting to Gooba as well. So, let's just get into that right now. I'm feeling like this one will be a lot more consistent with 6 ix just straight up shouting style, which I can't complain about that. I feel like Gooba's gonna be a better song than Trolls. I hope it's a better song than Trolls. But we'll see. This this song was huge when it dropped. It broke, like, YouTube view records. I feel like because people do hate 6 ix 9 they'll come up with a bunch of reasons for why that's not impressive, but he definitely knows how to get people's attention. I'll say that much about him. Like, 6 ix 9 is very good at marketing himself. And he doesn't even have to do much to do it. He just, he just uh, found what works and is, you know, running off of that. As always, nice colourful artwork for this one. But let's see if the cover has more life than the actual song. 6 9 Gooba. Let's go. I tell a nigga, go dick, ride, go black, ride, leave it to the double thick guy, switch mm. sisters, fly, slide in the belly trucker, the rave trucker, your bestie is a dick sucker, a big double, hater, you nothing but a hater, hater, cloud chaser, now we catch him at the- I was talking to my girlfriend about reacting to this song today, and she called me a hater, hater, cloud chaser. It was from this song. Okay, that makes sense now. Great, my, my girlfriend quoted 6 9 on me. Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? It kind of reminds me of what uh, Birdman did on his Breakfast Club interview when he said, no, are y'all finished, finished or are y'all done? done? It's, got the same, it's got the same energy to it. Honestly, I'm definitely enjoying this song a lot more than I enjoyed Trolls. For a first listen, this is much better to me. I'm enjoying this a lot more. It's just 6 9 doing what he does best, if you want to call it that, and doing his loud shout rap style. It's got a similar kind of up-tempo energetic beat with a, with a bit of like a bell or synth melody in the background. In terms of the beat, the two songs do have very similar production, but I like what 6 ix 9 is doing with it better on here. Not necessarily anything new, but this is at least more exciting. Was he hitting like a blueface flow there? He was sliding off the beat there. Blueface found the beat and 6 ix 9 lost it, I guess. This is a little bit of a different delivery for him. He's not shouting. Hmm. I like that, just the constant 808s hitting. You're mad, I'm back. Big mad, he's mad, she's mad, big sad. I love this poetic writing. <laughs> okay, I'm not even gonna lie, Gooba was way better than Trolls to me. At least that song was actually enjoyable. Had a nice bit of energy to it. Honestly, I could see myself listening to this one a few more times after this video. This could be one of my Guilty Pleasure 6 9 songs. It's it's going on the Guilty Pleasure 6 9 songs playlist. Is it even worth pointing out how simplistic the writing is, particularly on the second verse? 
Because, I mean, 6 ix 9s not even trying to have good writing, that's not what he's about. I'm pretty sure at this point 6 ix 9 just follows the philosophy of doing the least amount of work and making the most out of it in terms of money. Because, you know, you're mad, I'm back, big mad, he's mad, she's mad, big sad, haha, don't care, stay mad. I mean, it's it's 12 year old level writing. No, not even that, 12 year old is generous, why, why did I say 12? It's like eight-year-old level writing. But we're not gonna act like 6 9 tries when it comes to writing. I can't even be too critical of it because I still enjoyed the song regardless of the very simplistic writing. And there was even a bit at the end of the first verse where he didn't do the shouting flow. He was just kind of rapping in what was closer to his regular voice. And I, I guess that slightly differentiates it from most of his tracks where he's just shouting. Not a lot to say about it, but I think this is another guilty pleasure, enjoyable 6 9 song for me that I could see myself listening to uh, a bit more after this reaction. This one is way above trolls for me. This one, it's simple, it's pretty basic, but it's enjoyable in my opinion. That's what I expect from 6 9 and that's what he gave me with Gooba. So yeah. I mean, that's pretty much all I've got to say for this reaction today, guys. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of Trolls in Gooba by 6 9 Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys all in the next one. And this is CDTV the G. Signing out.